Good afternoon, everybody. This is obviously one and only Light Liger here with a yet another video. And today we're going to be talking about a stablecoin project on Ethereum called mstable. Uh, the token is called MUSD. And then they also have a utility token, which is called Meta. And I have to say, there is a lot of very interesting things happening on the stablecoin space. And especially when you are heading into the bear markets, you really want to get stablecoins because there are so many opportunities right now these days to get so high interests on them. So it's almost beneficial to acquire stablecoins rather than actual uh, speculative utility tokens. But what exactly is mStable and why should I basically invest in it? So that's what we're going to be exploring in this video. So mStable unites stable coins, lending and swapping into a one platform, basically. And there's four functionalities, which we're going to be looking into a second on their platform to mint MUSD, which is backed by other stable coins, and the ratio will be one to one. No slippage on that. So you're going to be um, converting, let's say, USDT into DAI. It will be one to one conversion, which is a very good thing because there's sometimes half a cent, quarter of a cent differences between these currencies uh, as of right now. And by the way, this is the, the Meta's current valuation, $2.34. And also the actual uh, mStable MUSD is sitting at $1. And it has a supply of 35 million to about 27 million right now has been created. So that is pretty lucrative. And going back to the website. So um, you are obviously able to save, which is the most biggest uh, thing about uh, mStable, which we're going to be talking about in a second. And we already talked about that you can s swap stable coins between each other. And then there's a DeFi ecosystem. So let's now, um, well, then there's the meta, which is earns uh, mStable assets on insuring mStable and rewards early users. So I'm probably going to be acquiring some meta. Right now I have MUSD. And obviously, by the way, guys, um, I'm doing all of these videos for free and the DeFi costs are kind of great. Uh, I mean, big, bigger than the ad revenues. So if you want to chip in and throw some donations to my Ethereum address, I will appreciate that and it allows me to create more DeFi content, especially on Ethereum, which is very costly right now um, for the, um, you know, median income people like me. And basically, let's now jump into the actual platform itself. So this is the uh, interface. You can log in with uh, different different options here. MetaMask, Brave, Formatic, Portis, Square Link, Wallet Connect, which is very good, and also Wallet Link by Coinbase. And here basically right now they are supporting four different stable coins. Whatever there's going to be more in the future remains to be seen, but basically there are um, enabling pretty much all the big players outside of Paxos. And you have true USD, DAI, um, USDC by Coinbase, and obviously Tether, USDT. And what you can do on the platform after you have connected your a DeFi application is to provide any of these currencies into the platform. Let's say 100 USDT, uh, USDC, and then this can be converted into MUSDC. So 100 will be equaling 100 of MUSD. Uh, and, and the question obviously is, why exactly the MUSD would be a good investment? Why should I basically put my money into it? So this is where you go into the actual savings tab. And I put out around 61.68 uh, yesterday, uh, late evening, like, like uh, let's say uh, 12 hours ago. And this is the interest that I've already gotten for that. So um, this is an API which keeps changing all the time. And basically the money goes into the maker and it basically leverages the tokens on on like, you know, what it's not, well, it's not futures, but it's basically on a margin, you know, there's a risk involved there. And this is how it's able to pay such a high APY. 
So basically, this is the highest I've seen on the market. Any no other stable coin is able to give you this right now. So it's basically here on a de decentralized platform right now in the smart contract uh, generating me the revenue. So I guess you're going to be putting hundred dollars. You're going to be getting hundred and twenty one dollars in a year. This is based on the seven days um, volume. I think yesterday this number was even bigger. Um, you can view the analytics here and here are the percentages that have been going on. Um, I think what is this API for? Uh, 25th says 10 percent, but it's 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 um and here's six. So as you can see, the, the numbers do change quite radically on day to day basis. But even six percent is very competitive for any stable coin, in my opinion. And here you can also view all the amounts of mints, deposits, withdrawals, redemptions. All the data is here to look which is very cool in my opinion. So kind of kind of have like an idea what, what is going on. Sadly, this one doesn't have a 30 day chart that I can look, but it's probably somewhere on the blockchain. And at any point, you can obviously redeem the MYUSD, must uh, MUSD uh, from the platform. Um, and you can also, here's the swapping thing that I talked to you about. It doesn't support MUSD though. So Tust into Dai. This can be done. Okay, actually it does. So I can swap out here automatically the t stable coins between each other. Obviously, there's going to be uh, some costs. And here I can um, basically redeem the MUSD um, from the balance. So I have to take it away from here. I have to withdraw it first before I basically redeem it. But the uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. So the redeeming means that the MUSD can be redeemed into the stable coins below. So that's also a very interesting uh, mechanism here. So it can be always redeemed back in the currencies that exist on the platform. So overall, MUSD and the whole M stable project is very interesting. There's a lot more about on the um. Where, where's the tab? No, it's not here. Um, learn more here. So a lot of information is stored here about all the mechanisms of it. Um, there are even grant system coming out soon. And it's still like really on a building phase. The meta token, let's go bid on the tokenomics. So it has 100 million supply and $2. Okay, that's pretty high valuation. But then again, um, rank 535 definitely has room to grow. So um, are we sitting at the dip right now? What is the actual metric looking? Okay, this is so new that it's I can't even see the lower charts 33 months. So now now it's a pretty good time to buy it the meta meta token and here you can see I have the exchanges down below where you can buy it. I'm going to be buying some right now today. They also have I did forgot to show the earn tab, yes. So there are have a balancer tabs, and here are very lucrative rewards APY. The good thing about balancer is you can just provide single currency there, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing with my meta. I'm just going to be putting it in the balancer pool. That's where it's going to be accruing some interest for me, and I don't have to put a ETH ETH with it or something like that. And I will see uh, will it um, turn more in the future. But there are pools to choose from. But that's pretty much my video on the project. It's definitely a high tier uh, stable coin under the radar still. Thanks for Chico Crypto for talking about it. That's where I kind of learned about it first. Obviously, if you want to support my work, um, please send me some uh, tokens, whatever it's meta or something else. Um, obviously, share the video, like it, give a comment down below if you have any questions about the protocol. I do want to say, uh, as a bit of a warning for people um, who are investing around $100, um, the fees to approve, die first, and then send it here, and then basically stake the MUSD, I costed a lot of um, fees, so you want to wait till the fees are kind of low, unless you're going to be putting a large amount. Let's say you're going to be putting $300 worth of stable coins into MUSD, then you shouldn't have to worry about uh, the potential loss in transaction costs, but it does cost something on the actual fees, and I do have a, a, like $6 to basically send the MUSD for staking, so uh, there's that. 
but uh, that's a problem with Ethereum and might go away if the Uniswap version 3 comes out very soon, uh, expecting that the fees will go down with it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.